Hey, hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday here, and I wanted to record another video to show something that I've been struggling with for a long time, and uh, it is how to use things like decorators, um, Babel plugins, and things like that in Create React App without having to eject. If you search for, uh, let's say, Create React App decorators, you're going to see that it's not supported, unable to use decorators, how to use decorators with MobX uh, eject and how to add. So you're going to be confused like me and you're going to think the only option is that you must eject. But you do not have to. I just discovered a new package that will allow you to do this without ejecting. So let's take a look at the, the mini app I have built and how we can um, get MobX working correctly without having to eject to get decorator support. So I'll first just show the app. It's dead simple. It says, hey, awesome. So let's look at the code, uh, how we got it to do that. So we have an app component and in here, we've got some styled components going on and I've got a little bit of a theme and that will sort of be the demo that I'm building. Uh, we've got some styles. So we've got the day theme styles where it's, um, the color is white, the background is black. Although, <laughs> that should probably be the opposite, no? All right, save, refresh, oh frig. Start yarn, refresh. All right. That, that makes more sense. No, this is the daytime setting. All right, now back to the real thing. So we got the styles and we've got a styled H1. So we've set the font size to three rem. And then we're sort of taking the props in that are passed to the styled component. So you can see down here when I render the H1, I've passed in the theme of day. So we've um, deconstructed or destructured out from the props, the theme um, attribute of the object of the props object coming in. And then we've got a little arrow function here and we're returning some CSS, which will set things based on that theme. So we're setting the color based on the styles at theme, so day or night, and then that color, and then we're doing the same with the background color. All right, so that's why it shows up like this. If we switch to night, there we go, it's now a night theme. We'll just switch that back to day. All right, so I've also got a little store here called the UI store. And in here is where I'm gonna be keeping track of which theme setting we're currently on. So we want either day or night. So normally how I would do this is, I would say something like, I've got an observable property called theme and we'll set its default value today. So as soon as I load this, I'm gonna get an error. And that is because uh, syntax error, it doesn't know what to do with this at observable thing. So if you don't know what this is, this is called a decorator. And it basically wraps around the, uh, wraps a function around, where did that go? Wraps a function around this um, setting the theme attribute today. And that allows in MobX, it allows it to watch changes to it so that it can um, tell any components that are watching this store that, that a property's changed so it can re-render and do all that stuff. But it's just a really nice way of setting, um, setting this up without having to actually wrap a function around it and do all this complicated stuff. There's also a really nice decorator called an action. And to do for this, it's sort of in MobX terms, this is when you want to change one of your observable properties. So we're going to have one called toggle theme, which will take our current theme. And basically, if the theme is day, it's going to be night. Oops, that's a question mark. No. So if it's day, it's night. Otherwise, meaning it's night, we'll switch it back to day. Cool. So I can call this function anytime I want to toggle between the two. 
And again, it's not even giving me an error here yet because it's still freaking out about this observable up here. So normally what I have been doing, I've been ejecting from Create React App so that I can then get into like the, the Babel RC file and add different um, Babel support for observables, or if not observables, decorators, I should say. And uh, that, that works all right, but I've always sort of disliked ejecting because Create React App hides a lot of the complexity of um, Webpack configuration and all that stuff. And I sort of like it that way, unless I really need to dive in there uh, because the defaults they give me are really nice. And if I update my uh, React scripts to the latest version, it auto I automatically get all those changes. If I've ejected, I don't. So I really like not ejecting. So I just discovered a package called, and I've got my notes here because it's too much to remember, React App Rewired. So I'm going to go in here, see it's telling me my nice error here, and I'm going to add this. And what this package does is it basically allows me to hook in to these scripts here, these create these React scripts for starting, building, testing, and whatnot. And it allows me to sort of modify things before it gets to the React scripts. So we've added that one package, React App Rewired. We're going to add a couple more. We're going to add one specifically for rewiring MobX. Uh, yarn add React App Rewire MobX. And while that's doing its thing, we're going to add one more for styled components, which sort of helps uh, when debugging styled components. So we'll add that as well. There we go. All right, and now we'll just, uh, actually, I'm not going to start up our app again, and I'll show you why. So we've got this in here, but we haven't really used it at all yet. And the way you use it is, funny enough, I didn't look this up, so React, oh, here it is. You have to make a change to your NPM scripts here. So as I showed before, it normally says React scripts start. We're going to change all of those to be React App Rewired Start. So we'll go into our package and we'll just switch out all of those. Okay? So let's start this thing again. And it gives an error. So we'll talk about why. But you can see that it ran the command React App Rewired Start. But then it, it's looking for a file and it can't find it. So what it's looking for is a file called config overrides.js. And we want to add that into the root of our application. So config overrides.js. Okay. And in here, and I've copied, I've written it down already because it can't remember this stuff. And we'll talk about what it does. Cool. So in here, I'm doing a few things. First of all, the purpose of this file is to override sort of the defaults that come with React App or with Create React App. And what I'm doing is I'm importing a function called Inject Babel Plugin. So you can use this anytime you want to add an additional Babel plugin to your Create React App. So you import it from React App Rewired. And I'm also importing Rewire Mob X from the, that other package that we added, React App Rewire Mob X. And what you want to do is export a function. And this function will take as its parameters a config and an environment. So your config is sort of the um, webpack config up to this point that we're going to be modifying. And your environment would be like, are you in test? Are you in development? Are you in production? What not? Because you can do different things depending on which environment you're in. We're going to keep it easy and sort of do it all um, just assuming one environment everywhere. So the first thing we do is we are going to inject a Babel plugin for styled components. So Babel plugin styled components is injected. Here's the old config. We get back 
an updated version of it. And then we're going to call it rewire mob X, passing in that config we just got back and the environment. And it's going to give us back the updated config. And then that will be returned at the end. So if we run yarn start now, oh no. All right, didn't like the import. Try to get fancy. Let's switch back to more like uh, ES5 syntax. So um, I'm going to leave all these mess ups in here because uh, it's part of development, no? So const that equals require that. And we're going to have function, we'll call it override. And it's not an ES6 function. All right, so I think I got rid of all the ES6-ness. Um, let's run this again. Hopefully it works. Oh, frig. Oh, it's the export default. So what is it? Module.export equals this function. Try it again. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so it's loading. It's spinning up. Let's hope that it loads without an error, which it does. Wicked. And what that tells me is that it's no longer freaking out when it sees the decorator. And that is because we have done this rewire mob X. And I haven't looked into this package personally, but I imagine what it does is it's adding the decorator Babel plugin. And it's maybe doing some other things to configure mob X, but definitely decorators are one of the things we need. So let's keep going then. And uh, I'll just show you quickly this other package I added for Babel plugin styled components. Reload this. Okay. So normally style components, um, you look at it and it's just got like some crazy hashes here and you're not sure. Like if you get a lot of them that are just divs and things like that, it's hard to know. Shoot, what is this thing? Like I don't know what D-A-G-I-G-U is. So what this package does is it basically tells you, okay, this is in the app um, component and it's talking about the H1 that you set up and then you've got your crazy classes after. Another nice thing it does, if you go over to the React tools, it actually names your components uh, in here this way as well. So if I come in here and I rename that to, uh, let's call it the... Um, the headline. Let me change this to headline. Refresh that. Go dive into the. There we go. So now it's the app headline. So it's it's just a little bit easier to read. But unfortunately, you need to add a Babel plugin, which wasn't possible without uh, ejecting from Create React app before we had this rewire ability. So let's just finish out our our store here. We come back to our store, we've got one observable property called a theme, and we've got one action that toggles back and forth, right? So let's hook that up to our app component. Uh, and if you're wondering, I don't have a provider and all that stuff you normally need for MobX. It's because I already set it up over here in my index.js file, wrapping a provider component around my app and giving it the UI store so that any child inside of here can have access to it if it's injected. So we are going to use more decorators to inject the UI store. And then we're going to say that this is, it's not observable, it's observe, that this component also observes changes to the store. So these are two decorators that come with MobX React that you couldn't use before without ejecting. Yep, it's not observe. Oh man, so many mistakes. No, what is it? Observer. Boom. All right. So we got it working, rendering. Let's just have it toggling back and forth then. So we're going to add an on click anywhere in this app and it will receive an E and run some code. So we'll just prevent default. Doesn't really matter, but we'll do that. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to access the UI store, which was injected into our app component through the props. So UI store. And we are going to tell it to toggle theme, which was the action that we created. Okay, so that's going to be toggling back and forth. But the next thing we need to do is update this here so that it's not just using hard-coded day, but it is using the, the observable property within our UI store. Let's just clean this up a little bit. We are going to get UI store from this.props, porps. All right, so now I can just use UI store here. And the theme will come from the UI store dot theme property. So if we load this, it's day by default. You click it, it's night, day, night, day, night, etc. So just to recap, what we did, we took our Create React app and we wanted to add a couple Babel plugins to it so that we could use MobX with decorators, which are awesome both here and also here within our store itself. And we also, just for fun, added one um, Babel plugin for viewing uh, styled components a little bit more nicely um, so that when you're inspecting it and debugging it, you can figure out what's actually going on in your code. So we added the React app rewired package. We created a config overrides file where we sort of took our config and we overrode it with this Babel plugin and rewiring it for MobX. But remember that you also need to go into your package.json and change your script so that it uses the React app rewired one instead of the normal one um, that comes with the React scripts from Create React app. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it a lot and I'll uh, hopefully have another video for you soon. Have a great day. Bye.